Hi and welcome back to our channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Miruna and this is my Westie dog, Sami. In this video, I'm going to tell you about this summer weed called foxtail and why you should keep your dog away from it. And while I got you here, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already because I'll be posting more videos like this. Summer is the time of vacations and doing fun things outside, but it's also the time when dogs end up at the vet because of a foxtail injury. You may not know this, but this common weed that you see growing everywhere is actually a health hazard for your dog. I'm going to tell you why in just a few seconds, but make sure to stick until the end of this video and I'm going to tell you three things you can do to keep your Westie safe from these nasty weeds. It's called a foxtail and it's a grass-like weed that appears during spring and develops in early summer. The seed, this thing you see here, gets stuck to your dog's fur and travels very easily because of its barbed structure. It can penetrate the skin and cause serious infections. It can work its way in between toes, up your dog's nose or inside the ears and even inside the eyes. After piercing the skin and entering the body, foxtails can migrate under the skin if left untreated. In extreme situations, they can get inside your dog's bloodstream and travel to the heart, lungs and brain. They can perforate blood vessels and cause serious internal bleeding. Or they can be inhaled and perforate a lung. This is very rare, but it can be fatal. The most common situations, however, are dogs ending up at the vet clinic with a foxtail stuck in between their toes, inside the ear or even in the gums. I myself didn't know about this until this year and Sami's almost four now. I posted on our Instagram and I got a ton of messages from other Westie parents who had scary experiences with foxtails. So I'm gonna read a few of them to you now. Lisa Fisher says, these things can be deadly actually. A friend of mine lost her dog because she sniffed one up into her nose. It traveled so quickly. Everyone needs to stay away from them with their dogs. She also says, my Lily got them in her ears twice. The second time, they had to sedate her to remove it. So please keep any dog away from them, especially if they have longer fur or fur that easily picks them up. It's crazy how dangerous they are. Nanny Toot says, Angus, my Westie, recently had to have surgery to remove one from his paw. Nikki Van Dark says, went to the top of her paw and came out the back. Cost 750 pounds emergency fees for operation. B.M. Gakin says, my Westie got it deep in her ear and had to have general anesthetic to get it out. Vicky Y.M. 7 says, coughing and hacking for two days. My dog was able to dislodge it, no visit to the vet. Emma Cross the Pond says, surgery to extract foxtail seed. Reiki the Westie says, it was our previous Westie, she got it stuck between her toes. Gypsy Line says, our Westie got one embedded in his paw and got a horrible infection that took weeks to clear up. Towner555 says, Baz got seeds in his ear, general anesthetic to get them out. Mrs. Pearl the Poodle Girl says, my first dog was a Westie and his paw got inflamed. Die5YG says, it was stuck between his toes for a few weeks, two surgeries and nothing. Then it came out alone, bad thing. Foffy Hats says, we had to go to the vet. He removed it and after that we had tons of medication. Marina88 says, Milo got one in between his toes and had to get it removed. His paw was swollen for days. Mi Vanja 87 says, I inhalated him so vet had to put me in total anesthesia to take him out. So bad experience. And there's a few more here that I'm going to put here as screenshots so you can see them all. Now, what are the signs that your Westie may have a foxtail injury? Well, if you see them licking their toes a lot and their swelling and redness, there is a chance they might have a foreign object stuck in there. Maybe a foxtail, maybe something else. So make sure to check. If your dog has a foxtail seed stuck up their nose, you'll notice they're sneezing a lot and maybe pawing at their nose. A foxtail can also stick inside the eyelids, which I know it's terrifying just to think of it, but it can happen. Pawing at the affected eye, swelling, redness, tearing or discharge from the eye are all signs that your dog might have a foxtail stuck inside their eye and you need to take them to the vet ASAP. 
What are three things you can do to keep your Westie safe from foxtails? One, pay attention on your walks. Don't let your dog wander in an area where there's foxtails. Don't let them run in a field of tall grass where you suspect there may be foxtails. Two, keep your Westie's coat short during spring and summer, especially around the feet. This will make it harder for foxtails to attach to your dog's coat and if they do, you'll be able to see them easily. 3. Check your dog's body after every walk. Having a fine comb like this one can help with that. If you see any foxtails, remove them. A few days ago, I actually found two foxtail seeds on Sami's coat, as well as one that I found in our bed the next morning. Yikes! Thankfully, all was well and nothing bad happened, so even if they are dangerous, you don't need to panic if you do find one. Just make sure to pay more attention next time. That's it, I hope you found this video helpful. Did you know about this? Did your dog ever have a bad experience with a foxtail? Let me know in comments. Share this video with other dog parents who may not know about this and press the like button because it helps this video get more views and spread the word. Thank you for watching, keep your dog safe, until next time, bye!